And away we go. It's time for another Mondays with Mike. Welcome back. I don't know where in your life you find yourself today, but um, here's a question. I already passed my question. Oh, here we go. This is from Deborah. Here we go. I own an antique business that I bought two years ago. I was hoping to transition from my current job to, the, to my business after the consolidation. Apparently, Deborah's going through a consolidation in her current company, which will result in uh, changes in jobs and layoffs. My business is not making the kind of money equal to my current job. So it looks like I now have to stay on at my current job even after the consolidation. I don't want to stay at my current job, but I need to. How do I stay positive at a place I don't want to be? I love my new store, it's my passion, and I would rather be there, but my finances don't allow it. All right, so here you are between a rock and a hard place, you're absolutely right. Here's, here's what you're dealing with, okay? First of all, the first thing you're dealing with is uh, a conflict between passion and practicality. These two P's are often in conflict in life. First, let me congratulate you for finding something you're passionate about. Very few people do that. In fact, there's a significant number of people in the country who go through their entire lives never finding what they're passionate about, just kind of going through the motions. So the good news is you found it. The difficulty is that the practicality of this antique store doesn't appear to be able to support you in the lifestyle to which you become accustomed. So you have some choices. I'm not sure that you have to stay at your current job. I am sure, however, that if you decide to leave your current job, it's going to require some significant lifestyle adjustments. So I want you to consider this. If I came to your place, wherever your place is, and I found that uh, a gun, and I walked up to you and I said, Deborah, what you must do is you must be in the antique business. You have no choice. And you also must feed yourself and pay your rent. What would you do? What are all the things that you could do if you wanted to do? That's the first thing. Now I'm going to give you a piece of information, and all of you who see Mondays with Mike every week are, might roll your eyes when I say this, so just don't do it. Here's the question I want you to ask yourself. I want you to ask yourself what period of time you're willing to give yourself before you will commit to being in the antique business full time. Do not get ready to be ready to almost get ready to be ready to get ready to be ready to almost get ready because too many people spend time trying to get ready. What I want you focused on is I want you focused on a goal. I will be in my antique store full time by this date at this time. If the commitment is firm, your mind and those around you will start to align to help you figure out exactly how you're going to do it. So first of all, I want you to ask yourself, if I had to do it right now, what would I do? What would I have to do? And is it worth that sacrifice? Deborah, I want you to know you don't have to stay where you are. You may have to stay where you are to continue the lifestyle, but you don't have to. You're not trapped. You're not being held hostage. Secondly, I want you to surround yourself with people who will support you in your goal of getting out of this job and moving into the antique business full time. Passion will always create opportunity. You need to follow that. Finally, make sure that you do not entertain or allow yourself to be around people who entertain negative thoughts, who try to squash your passion in service of practicality. Because passion squashed in service of practicality often leads to dashed dreams. Don't let anyone do it, and anyone who does do it needs to be invited to be out of your life, at least on the sidelines of your life. Deborah, I'm very interested in hearing how you do with this because this is what the, our company is about. This is what my life is about, is helping people create a passion and a vision for themselves that they don't take no for an answer. Figure out a way to do it and email me back, would you? I'd like to hear, um, I'd like to hear how it's going. Thanks a lot. I'll see you guys next Monday. Tell your friends, Monday's with Mike every Monday. Bye-bye.